since your skin is, you know, changing. Okay. I think that looks decent. I'll fix it a little at the end, but your foundation is the most important part. Now, these eyebrows. Listen, if you have natural eyebrows, please use your natural eyebrows because I mess mine up and now I have to draw it on every day, which sucks. Um, but if you're ever using foundation, you do need to go over your eyebrows whether they're real or not because um, the foundation going over your eyebrows can make it lighter than what it is and doesn't look cute. So now I just buy these little eyebrow kits from CVS. This one is from Revlon. Um, that has It had more of a darker brown in it. This is a wet and wild eyebrow kit. It has the lighter and the darker um, I like the Revlon one because it had my actual color in there. I don't use that jelly stuff, the wax stuff. I think that's gross. And I use an angle brush to apply. And you start drawing or filling in in the direction you would want it to go. I try to follow the hair that I have there and the work around it. Elongate it. I like mine's to go a little in where the nose starts. Ooh, child, my hair is crazy. I just woke up, guys. I did take a shower, though. On the other side, make sure they're even. You're starting at an even length. We do not want two different height eyebrows. I'm sure we've all been there before. Not cute when someone's like, I think your eyebrow is different from the other one. Thanks. And here we are. Guys. Oof. If I could not draw on my eyebrows, that would be godsend. I don't believe in the tattoo eyebrows. I think they look crazy. Um, and the microblading, I think, looks crazy, too. Plus, they fade so quickly. Um, so, I'd rather just draw it on every day, you know? And then I take a little bit of a better brush, because that one's a little old, but I love it. And I darken it a little since my hair is jet black you don't want to do jet black for your eyebrows ever please don't ever do jet black for your eyebrows unless it's halloween or something um if your hair is black do dark brown never do black okay <laughs> So now I put the base for my eyebrows and now I'm going to shape them and perfect them with concealer. I don't know what other concealer everyone else uses, but I use um, Studio Finish Concealer from MAC. It's the best concealer ever if you have dark circles. It's also great for my eyebrows because um, it's in a pot and you'll see it. it's nice and creamy. Okay. And I use, where's my brush, where's my brush? Oh, here it is. I use this brush to apply my concealer. It's flat, 
also had this for a while. Um, don't really like switching up unless I have to. Okay, I just open this like nothing. And I'm just taking some. And I'm gonna start. I always start in the middle because that's where my art shall be. And I always try to thin out the end first. Then I go to the beginning. Try and match it up. You see that? All right, let me just put the rest above my eye and then I'm gonna do the top of the eyebrow as well. You see how I'm covering my dark circles? At the same time, oop, I messed up. That's okay, I'm gonna go back and fix it. And the top looks pretty. Okay. Guys, whenever you do the top of your eyebrow please remember to go back and blend it in i saw a meme somewhere <laughs> saying like when you see the concealer on top of someone's eyebrows oh my goodness i just stuck my <laughs> my angle brush and my concealer that's what i get i'm gonna fix this because i I went over it a little with the concealer. So now, this part of the eyebrow, guys, is so critical. I see people with it like pointy, and I, ooh, I hate it because it looks, you make your eyebrow look evil. You want it to look as natural as possible, so I make sure there's no sharp corners. And I will clean this, but I will round it. See that corner right there? I'm gonna try and round it. Because you don't want it to look pointy. It makes your eyebrow look evil, I promise. <laughs> it makes it, gives it like a hard look. Please, always round it slightly. Don't do sharp edges. Okay, that's one eyebrow. I might do a little bit more of an arch here. That's exactly how you fix your arch. Just don't want too much, you know? Okay, I think that looks decent. What do you guys think? Looks like a decent eyebrow. Let me do the other side. All right, so now that I've shaped both eyebrows, I'm cleaning it. I made sure when I went that this was the same length as this one, so the, the thickness is the same and where it comes in is the same. Now I'm gonna put the rest of the concealer on my eyes. Again, I have really dark circles, so concealer is my best friend and means everything to me, and a good concealer is everything. So MAC for full coverage, I don't care what anyone says. I'm faithful to them for concealer. MAC for full coverage. It's worked my whole life.
Okay, now we're gonna blend it into the rest of my face. Does anyone else nose start running when you're doing makeup? It happens to me all the time. I should Google why that happens. See, I'm patting it first. And then I'm patting it into the rest of my foundation. That's how it blends a little bit better. You see it blending? It's literally just blending into it. I'm trying to get rid of the concealer on top of my eyebrows. We don't want to be a meme. And I'm just looking at my eyebrow. This one's a little bit much. So I'm just going to arch it a little bit more fix the shape of it. See how I did that? Shaping is everything and I know people need help knowing how to do that. It honestly it just takes practice and time. Um, and you'll get the hang of it once you learn how you want your eyebrows and stuff. Um, but just cleaning it up. I think they look decent. All right, so now I'm gonna powder again. I'm gonna use a different brush this time. I usually let the concealer sit for a while. Um, not that long, maybe like five minutes so it can sink into the face because when you go and put powder over your foundation or your concealer, the brush takes it off a little bit and you don't want all the hard work you just did to come off or to leave streak marks. So um, I'm just going to wait it out for a little bit. Alrighty, so we let it sit for a little bit. FYI, this is how real people do makeup. This is not a tutorial where they switch from one thing to the next I want you to see it all to know how things really settle how things really are applied in real life in real time see how I powdered that up and tapped it so we're not swiping the uh, concealer off let me go around since I had concealer above my eyebrows just to make sure everything is just blending and setting get it a little bit in my corner of my eyes you can see there's a little bit of that I don't like to do anything on top of a face that's not perfectly set you want everything to be applied evenly you know all right so that's the base at least my eyes are set you know god I so sometimes I feel a little hair on my face and I go back and like swipe to make sure it's off now the color I use, and I have been using my whole life, I keep saying my whole life, since I was 18. I started wearing makeup though since 11 years old, 12 years old. I was in a dance company, kind of had to. I use that as an excuse as well. But um, when I started using the makeup that I probably still use to today is when I was 18. Um, and this color, yikes is tan it's a pigment i like to apply pigments better they just go on better i do not like things in a shadow like that um in a pot so i use this brush mac again um it's called tan and i dip and i use the cap and i shake it out and it so I could use the rest and not apply too much to my eyes. Now this is 
my, what I call my nude. Um, and this color works for me. It may not work for everyone, but this is the color I use. It's like a rose goldish kind of color and it brightens my eyes. So I love it. See that brightness? And I'm gonna dip again and shake it out. That's how it looks in there. Get it from the corner and I do it to the top of the eyebrow. I know everyone doesn't do it like that. I use the same color. I don't do like different shades on my eyebrows. I'm not that fancy. I'm sure if I knew how to do it, I'd play with it, but I like to stick to what works for me, what has been working like. If it's not broke, don't fix it. This has been working for me my whole life. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna, um, wipe the excess off a little it's gonna be a little shiny but we're gonna fix that later and sometimes my shadow goes on my eyebrows a little and it makes them a little light so I go back and I I go over it just a little to make sure I stay darker than my face and my eyebrows I mean, and my uh, eyelids. I do not like my eyebrows to look faded or lightened. <laughs> A little spot there. Hands up clean that up now I do this first because I'm gonna put on lashes and before I do my lashes and my eyeliner I want my highlighter on my eyebrows put on first because I don't want the weight from this to fall on my lashes or my eyeliner so that's why I put it on first for my eyebrows comes with a little stick I use this stick it has a little point and I'm, I'm running out this color this is also from Maybelline um, and I don't know what color it is but I try to get white basically vanilla it's called vanilla and I put it in my arch it's okay if you put too much we could blend it I'm gonna do that for right now. Do that. I bring it halfway in. Don't go all the way to the end. Please don't go all the way to the end. All right, we're gonna blend it. I use my brush. See how I blended that out? You want it to look natural, like it just appeared. It's just happening. You don't want people to know you put it there, even though they do, but you know what I'm saying. All right, I bought some lashes today. It's not my normal nat lashes. Um, my first time using this kind, it's from Kiss, and it's Naked Drama. I needed something um, a little bit more heavy today since I'm doing a shoot, so I needed it to be dramatic. I do not like long lashes, guys. I know this is just my personal opinion, but they look like fans, guys. It is not cute. I'm telling you, it looks crazy. The natural, the shorter, the better. The more natural looking, the better. And you can make things look dramatic without actually being dramatic. Um, so I got these. They're clearly fuller. Um, and they're very black, um, the lashes. And you see, I got them in short because I don't think that they need to be like this. Okay. 
when you put the eyeliner on top of it and the you know the lashes on the mascara on the bottom i promise it makes it look dramatic you don't need to put a crazy crazy eyelash to make it look dramatic and nor should dramatic be your look for every day i'm doing a video shoot so it is a it's you know it suits the, the situation but these are doubled i just realized they're doubled which is cool too for dramatics let's see if they fit me or if i'm going to have to cut it I usually have to cut it. I cut it anyway because the ends of the lashes, when you just put them on like that, um, they poke me. So I like to cut the ends of the lashes. Ooh, well that's kind of, kind of sucks. Um, so if you see really close, oh God, I'm doing this wrong. These ends... They always need to be a little clipped. Some of them will be longer than the lash, so make sure you clip it, even if it's a little bit, because it definitely will irritate your, your eye. So I'm just cutting it. I use this little nail clip because it's in a diagonal, and I cut it in a diagonal. Sometimes if it's too long, I'll cut. I usually cut the front of the lash. I never cut the ends of the lash because Usually how they sell the lashes, this the end flares up. The front you can always cut because it doesn't really matter. The end, don't cut. So you can still have that flare, keep that flare. So I'm going to cut it just a little bit, the front. Because I think it was just a, a tiny bit too long. And I don't want it digging into the corner of my eye. We could be cute, but we could also be comfortable, okay? So I cut it just a little. Still perfect. And let me get my glue out. Guys, there's no other glue but duo. Like, no. I don't get white, I get black. My lashes are black, my liner is black, so any stickiness gets anywhere it's supposed to not be. At least it'll match. All right, let me go up and do it. I don't know if I can do this in the camera or not. I don't really want to because then I won't see. I'm just bending it so it goes on a little bit more curved because it's a little straight. And I try to put it towards the end of my lash and then I press it, press it so it goes to the beginning. And as you can see, I got a little glue on my lid. I'll fix that after. I press it down, make sure you press it down and align it with the beginning. Press the middle too, because that lifts up sometimes. And then you find out that it didn't really stick to the middle. And then the glue dries and you can't really fix it. So keep pressing it towards the line. I'm cleaning off that little bit of glue that touched my lid. Make sure to the end, you see? Let me let it dry a little. Guys, right, it's always it's not always that simple. Sometimes it gets annoying. Sometimes it's not sticking. Sometimes it's not leveled up. You didn't get it on the line of your lash. Sometimes it's like bothering your eye. Sometimes you start your eye starts watering. <sighs> Lashes can be annoying. I can't tell you how to get it right every time. It's either you're lucky or you're not sometimes to be, to be honest. It's a part of it. Don't like trip out.
And if anybody tells you they get it perfect every time they're lying, because I've had a bunch of makeup artists do my face and have gotten wrong putting on the lashes. Everything comes with time and practice. And when it's your own face, you get to know your own face and how things work for you. You know that everything doesn't work for everybody, you know? Everyone's face and shape and color is different. You just, you learn to adjust or to make it work for you. See, I got it right on the, in the edge. Make sure it lines. And then I keep going over the ends to make sure it's sticking. Pushing it in, you know, just keep making sure it's sticking. Now I'm gonna wait for this to dry a little, okay? Because you don't wanna be working on it while the glue is still wet. There's no point, you're just gonna mess yourself up after all that hard work. Alrighty, I let my lashes dry for a little bit. Now I'm gonna do eyeliner. Um, guys, it took me so long to figure out how to do some eyeliner or a good one. I just really honestly needed a good eyeliner, um, something that was easier for me because I'm not a pro like these other women are so talented. But I get Revlon. This is the skinny version um, because they never have the regular version available I guess a lot of people buy it that's the regular version so what I did is I, I took the top off for the skinny and I switched it to the regular one Just look at how nice and wet and black that is I love me a fresh wet eyeliner I love it I like liquid eyeliner I do not like pencil I'm not good at it it looks a little grayish when you apply it I like mine to look jet black um, so here we go. There goes my nose again. I do have the AC on now. So I'm not a pro at eyeliner, but I can fake it till I make it. Um, I always start at the ends. You're not going to be able to see much because of my lashes. But lashes first, okay, guys? And then liner. You know, there's some professionals who know how to do it. Before you put the liner, um, eyelashes on, and you just gotta be, be a pro at putting lashes on so it doesn't cover up the liner that you're putting. But I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out how I can get do this with showing you. So I just do a little, I follow along the line, make sure it comes down. To the end. Stay as close to the line. I'm not like a huge thick eyeliner girl, um, but I do like a wing. And I'm gonna make it a little bit more dramatic than usual because today is a video shoot. So I'm gonna start working on the end. And I'm bringing it out. But I always make sure when I'm adding more of the li liner at the end that it's still blending into the line from the beginning. So I'm really just making the end bigger and not the front. I like to keep the liner to the front as thin and close to the lash as possible, as you can see. And then I just work on my wing being the dramatic part. And you know, I keep doing little by little to see how far I want it to go out, to see how thick I want it to be. You see, that's already probably good enough for me. But I might make it a little longer. To give that extra Asian look for me. So.
messy and I'm gonna keep it like that for now and then I'm gonna clean it up with concealer after to see if I can make this lash the same now I'm gonna look at it from the top to make sure that that wing is going into the rest of the lash smoothly there's a little bit of a dip so I just wanted to fix that it's fine I can fix all this with concealer after it's just a base like the eyebrows are again Staying close to the eyelash line. Coming out a little bit. And, uh, and this is a good way if you messed up your lashes to just go over it in black so you can't see anything, any glue or mess up. And then I start working on my wing. I start laying out how long I want it, how thick I want it. I'll start out small and then I'll get bigger or longer. Sometimes I need to look to see how high this wing is to make sure I'm not going too high. Sometimes I'll go higher than I'm supposed to and it's okay. I'll just bring it down a little, which is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna make it a little bit straight right now. So I could see that they're the same length and then continue. Well, it's as high as I can go since I realized. So I won't go up anymore. I'll start thickening it, thickening it down from the bottom. Okay, see, I could fix all that with concealer. I just want to make sure the base is good. Check the dip. I got a little bit too much of a dip here, so I'm going to fill it in and make it blend in with the line. All right, and now I'm going to clean it up. And having a flat brush and concealer is a savior for trying to do a wing. No, I'm gonna wipe it clean. You see how I fix that? And you can also fix how you want the wing. too fat at the end. You can make it thinner. Swipe this so that wing is sharp. You see? And now we're gonna do the other side. Make that line straight. Cause there's some bumps. mess up on top and make 
that straight and I think they look alike do you this one might be a little bit curved I see like a fatness here I want to make that straight I see a little bit of a curve um, okay I think it looks good no let me blend that concealer out So now before I put anything under my eyes to fit, close off my eyes, to finish off my eyes, I um, do my mascara first because how I apply, um, I just want to make sure nothing goes on my face. There's nothing left to go on my face once I put my um, final touches of my concealer and foundation under my eyes. So I want to make sure everything on the eye is done so nothing can fall on it. I use Great Lash, um, Black is Black, Nior, Tres Nior. Um, I think a lot of girls use this. I think I see my mom growing up using the pink and green one. So I've always used it because it's something I've seen my mom use. And now they've just upgraded. And it is honestly always so wet and so jet black that i love it so i always try to make sure any white spots under my lashes are filled so they are completely blended and i think my lashes are lifting a little in the front so I might have to apply some glue. You see it's lifting. I'm gonna apply some glue to fix that, which is super annoying. Cause it could be real simple or it could get real messy. I like doing from the root also. Just making sure nothing's gonna stick in my eye for the rest of the day so you want to comb from the root anyway you don't want to see any white spaces you want to make sure it's black and dramatic So yeah, I really put most of the mascara through the root. Just because that's us blending our natural eyelashes with the false eyelash. And then I kind of fan it on the edges because I like the clumpy look sometimes. Well, most of the time actually. Just fan it on there. That dramatica. All right, let me see if I could put some glue on the edge. This is what I do. I go like this. I put a little on there, and I use this, the corner of it, and I apply it like on the corner of my line, and try and stick the lash. To it. Gotta let it dry. Okay. And you guys, my eyes are basically done. So, what I do is I go back. Now, all of this excess that was on it, we want to smooth it out. And I take my foundation, put it on my brush, I spread it out a little. And I dab it under my eye. 
You get every part. Especially in the corners. And make sure you go up. Because we had shadow there, we had liner there. We want to make sure everything is super clean. And I'm gonna let this dry before I put some powder on it. And I'm gonna put my contacts on to give me that baba boom that I like. All right, guys, so just a quick tip. If you wear contacts, do put them in after you put the shadow and lashes and all that stuff because we don't want any um, debris falling into our contacts. It could be very uncomfortable. I mean, obviously, if you have to see, then, you know, wear it. But if you don't, put them in after. Um, it just saves you the headache. So now that we let the foundation dry, I am going to dab it up with some powder to blend it in. And I wipe here just so that there's no um, cutoff from the foundation so we don't see that. And it just blends in. Get it from the corners. Make sure there's no wet spots. And blends it in. How great that is. And the eyes are blended. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the white, the highlight that I did on my eyebrows, I'm gonna do it in the corner of my eyes. It's literally always been my thing since I was 13 years old and I saw Jennifer Lopez do it. So I had to, I saw it in one of her pictures and I just figured out how to do it. A lot of people still ask me about this. It's literally just something I've been doing since I was 13. Uh, like about 20 years now and a lot of people try to do it they don't really have the concept of it it's supposed to just be like a little accent but you'll see I do it pretty bright first because this white will end up fading throughout the day so I like to put it as bright as I can first and let it just fade throughout the day that you want it to stand out. So now it's a little chunky, right? And I just take my concealer brush. This is magic, I'm telling you. This concealer brush and concealer are just magic. It's literally an eraser at this. It's an eraser. And I just thin it out to make it go into my bottom eyelash line. You see that? See the difference? gonna do my bottom lashes let me just dab this out a little and kind of blend the concealer I just applied and I just swipe it that's how I do my bottom just get a lot on that brush and swipe it across your bottom lashes. I tried to get it as black and chunky as I could, as I can, because it makes it really pop. Especially with the highlighter. 
in the corner. Look at the dramatics that does when you have a good wet mascara. You see there's some under sometimes I clean it off sometimes I don't um, because it honestly will look like an extension of your lashes on the bottom sometimes I do sometimes I don't that sense is a video shoot I don't want to look and they're doing close-ups I don't want to look too crazy FYI I don't like anyone doing my makeup so that's why I don't have people doing my makeup anymore unless I completely trust you. I stopped doing that a long time ago with makeup artists just because, you know, I mean, there's some really good ones out there, but some don't use the colors you want or do things that you want so instead of them doing my face and them getting offended that I don't like it I just say that I want to do my makeup myself I mean you should want to look how you want to look and not be unhappy with the final results I remember I've cried on like many photo shoots before they love to use dark makeup on me make my eyes dark and someone who's had dark circles around their eyes i hate it i like my eyes to be bright so um it's one of my struggles i decided to do it on my own okay and now do some blush i remember back in the day i used to not like blush another one from fit me um from maybelline right I use a lot of Maybelline stuff, I just realized. Um, and I just get any pink or reddish color. Um, just because my for my skin tone, blush looks good on me. Um, and it brings out, like, that redness and exotic look. This is more pinky. Um, but it's fine. I get, like, a pinkish when I'm going to put highlighter on top of it. So I just need the base to be a little pinky. Because highlighter just on top of regular skin is, just looks like shiny stuff on top of it. Um, so I actually use my shadow because it's a pigment. So you can use it as a highlighter as well. Uh, it's funny, people always ask me what my highlighter is. And then they find out it's from my eyes and they can't believe it. So because I have blush on, I only do the top. Sometimes I don't and I do the full cheek and I swipe it first. I like it on my nose, of course. When I am being dramatic, I put a little here and I put a little here on top of the brow and on top of the brow. I think I've seen that somewhere and then I started doing it. And then I just liked it. It's not fitting for every occasion, but when you are being dramatic, it works. You know how many people are like, oh my God, your skin is glowing. I'm like, boo, that is just highlighter. And I like this highlight because it's pinkish and reddish, so goes better with my skin tone a lot of the highlighters out there I can't find a good one for my skin so I was like I'll just use my shadow I think I saw someone do it and I was like oh my god I can use my shadow it's a pigment 
Can you see that glow? Can you see it? Can you see it? Not too crazy. Sometimes I get a little crazy, but I don't want to get too crazy. I might put a little bit more. I might not be able to see as much because I have these bright lights on, but I'm sure it shows. And it's a little bit darker. So I'm being a little bit more dramatic than usual right now. It really has to be on my nose, like I'm big on that. doing a little bit more making sure it blends into my face so no one catches the end of my highlighter it's happened a bunch of times especially when I'm rushing when I have time I like to really blend it Now I'll put my lip on. We're done. I'm putting my lip on. I use, this is my nude and my everyday color. This is half red from MAC. This is sharpened. I think it is. I like to go hardcore with the lip liner. Make sure you don't see the top of that lip. Any, you see this? I like to make sure I draw right on it. I don't want you to see the lining of my lip. And I make sure this arch part is perfect. It looks a little like a cartoon, a cartoon lip. You see the two here? And then I do the bottom. So I do put some lip balm on my lip. I think I put it on today. Before I started my makeup, I usually wipe it off because it could be a little greasy at the end just so it's enough moisture. Make sure my lip is dry when I'm putting on a lip liner because it doesn't have the same effect when you put lip liner on a greasy lip. You want it to be dry. Make sure you get those corners. And then if it goes over, like it did a little bit there, just get what? Your concealer brush. Wipe that. Nice and straight. And just remember, anytime you use concealer, make sure you go back over it with a brush so no one sees that and then the lip color i use is taupe by mac and that is my lip and that is my face i will show you the end look when I'm done, but just so you see, this is the raw. Look okay. <laughs> 